Welcome to the Crazy Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. And we have a guest with us. This is Mr. X. And he's special. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, he is. He is. So, so have you guys ever chatted with uh, AI bots? Yes. yes. What, what kind of stuff? Not, you... not knowingly. Not knowingly? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm so, on some dating apps, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I I really was uh, enthralled with the AI wave. I, I tried the AI art thing for a little bit. There's a couple of programs. It was fun. Um, I did uh, the replica. It was a the downloadable app on the uh, the Google Play Store. I, I downloaded that for like a minute. Yeah, I, I played with it for like maybe like forty five minutes, and I was like, okay, this is this is. Is dumb. that the one that does dirty stuff? Like it? Okay, fine. it can if you pay for it. Oh, is that what it is? I've heard of that. I mean, obviously, yeah. I've never seen it. It's but. pretty. It's pretty weird too. You can so, be really, really that, that mean to weird. it, and then they'll be, you can like just say the wildest shit, and they'll just be like, "I'm so sorry," and then you'll be. It's, it was. <laughs> weird and Jonas, you see Jonas, like the Jonas is getting out some some inner yeah right you see this <laughs> I would be like chat I, I was like a... I was like I love you so much and they're like I love you too I'm like why are you so fucking stupid and they're like I'm so Jeez. sorry that <laughs> Jonas's chatbot actually has his own chatbot therapist you know, that goes yeah, to no, after talking. I'm, Jonas I'm, is, I'm just screwing around. Jonas is definitely the guy who would abuse the robot butler <laughs> <laughs> when nobody's looking. Lick my feet. <laughs> I would. Yes, I mean, sir. I don't. I don't like to make humans feel bad, but I'll take all of my hate, pain and hate out on AI. You are <laughs> going to be the reason for the ro robot uprising, yeah, man. <laughs> that that is not a psychopathic marker at all. No. <laughs> Not at all. So, so the reason I brought this up. Hey, off of me. I mean, psychopathic no, no, or not, no, no. there's a reason I brought this up. Right. So there was a man, and I believe that he was actually using, the, it was a, a bot called Eliza. Okay. okay. And uh, it was not marketed as a mental health app, and its slogan is chat with AI bots. It allows you to choose different AI avatars to speak to, including characters like your goth friend or possessive girlfriend or rock star boyfriend. And then it said, so... <laughs> the default Bruh. bot is named Come Eliza, on. and and so basically this guy ended up talking to them, and the it says the headline of the story: man dies by suicide after talking with AI chatbot. Oh god! Yeah, that happened a while ago. So they convict like yeah, yeah, he started yeah, yeah, yeah. asking questions like yeah. if I kill myself, will you solve the climate crisis? And I guess the bot was telling him that it would. So he ended up like killing himself to save global warming or something yeah. like that. Wow. And I was like, that is the wildest shit I've ever heard. Wow. Like, I mean, rest in peace, young man. Sorry that you weren't strong enough mentally to understand that that's not possible. Yeah, he was out but, there. But holy shit. Yeah. So I can't, you can't, I can't blame that on the AI because he obviously had some issues going into that whole ordeal to begin with. Yep. But yeah, I, I, I kind of figure if there's anything of that nature that could happen, it's happened. Yeah. I mean, it's just like, it's like, I wonder if this is on the internet. It is. Yeah. I thought you were going to talk about the guy who married uh, the AI bot. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah. yeah there did was he? A, there was a Chinese guy who married uh, Hisoni Miku, who is a, uh, a, China, <laughs> like a, a Chinese like anime avatar character. Good Lord. <laughs> I think I saw this before. Yeah, I did actually. Dude, I watched, I watched it. Like, I watched is it that sounds like something that happened in Japan, but it was China. Is no, like, yeah, yeah, I think it was China. China. Okay. okay. Yeah. You're right. You're yeah. right. That very much sounds like something I've heard of out of Japan, yeah, I'm, which, I'm which is an interesting commentary on their society we don't need to get into right i mean but yeah. it's like they have, yeah. and that's the whole thing is that they have so many people that if there's any like combination of words that you can put in a word salad like your brokers or nikki's just goes completely out and you just spout out a, a group of words somebody's done it if some it married an ostrich in canada guarantee you this happened <laughs> yeah <laughs> it I'm, happened oh I'm, I'm sure smacked the, the a dog with a pancake happened Oh, that happened. Florida. Happened. Yeah. No, all, most of this happened in Florida. I was going to say. Smack the dog with a pancake. <laughs> yeah. I guarantee you that's happened. Yeah. You're just like, man has sex with pizza. Yeah. <laughs> Florida. That happened in Florida. Guaranteed. Everything happened. So, yeah, in that's Florida. weird. You, so, you, what, 
you've never spoken to an AI. I mean, I've I've messed around with Chat GPT a little bit. Okay, for like what? For like writing stuff? Well, just just to see what it would do. Like ask, <laughs> like saying, okay, make this, and see. And it was like, oh, cool, that's cool. It spits it out. So you but, do have some experience. Yeah, I'm, I'm a, yeah, but we, I wasn't I wasn't GPT. talking to it at all. I wasn't like yeah, I've never messed with GPT because you had to set up an account, and I was just like, oh, that's a lot of work. So yeah, my friend a friend of mine has an account. That's well, he yeah. he put me on, and I was messing. I with wanted it. to like use it to write love poems to my girlfriends. Yeah, I don't know. You're being honest. (laughs) I don't. I'm just saying. I saw an article that people were doing that. Why? And then then their girlfriends would be like, "Just write me another," and they couldn't because, like, they used AI to write it. Have you seen the people that are writing using the chatbots or whatever to respond to all their dating profile like matches? Oh, Oh, that's interesting. Or like they're writing reports for school with it. Yeah, well, I've seen. Yeah, I've seen that. And and there's apparently ways. So the professors are now learning how to how to like watch for markers in that yeah oh yeah they're they're i mean some people got away with it but yeah it'll be it'll hit the end i've seen people who have actually written they they state that they've actually written papers and they're still getting marked for uh being ai as well yeah when i was in uh, when i was taking classes online we used to have to submit our papers to this website that would uh that would uh scan them for plagiarism Hmm. like yeah i don't remember what it was but that was years ago so like i'm sure now that's even better i'm sure they have ai that does it now like that you can submit and then they Wild. So, so how do you guys feel about the people who make AI books and sell them on Amazon and are making like thousands? Is that a thing? It is. Oh yeah, I was actually I was seeing about. I was like, man, I should do that. I've seen seminars on it where people teach you how to have AI write books and you can make money just by because they publish them as they are ordered. I, as someone who enjoys like being creative and doing creative things, I know. it's really sad to me. So I'm like you're you're basically ruining any kind of art, right? Oh yeah. So maybe maybe improv, maybe the only one left after that because it's like, yeah, it's not written because it's live and not written. Like I have that. definitely ordered a book off Amazon, and I could tell it like I was like there is typos on every, every single page. Yeah. I'm like, what the hell is that? So and the funny part was when I was like, I want to return it. It was like just throw it away. It was like we don't want it back. We'll just give you the money. It, it was AI. It was an AI book. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And I was just like, oh. And I was like, oh, I should just do that. Yeah, except now, and AI is getting like exponentially better at doing it every day, I'm assuming. So, yeah. Um, So, yeah, when you talk about like the artistic integrity, it's like that's where I feel the strongest about it. Me too. There's now, there are some very good AI artists, I would have to say, where I've seen some stuff that's been created by AI where I'm like, that's quality. It's like, you know, movie theater, like, high production quality and they did it just by typing things is it because of the input it became the output was very high quality is that what you're saying like i what i'll say is that if you're using like some of the more advanced ai websites that uh create art you have to put in like a string it's almost like a like programming language mm-hmm. like the the string that you have to put in i've seen people where like it was 144 word string that i used to create this and it's like some it's like a masterpiece and I'm like, how do you determine where the AI assisted art is actually art or where it's not actually art? So, you know, so recently, I guess the writer strike ended. That's the thing. I was yeah, very yeah. Because, of, because of this. I was very interested. I was like, at what point do they just like, we really don't need you guys that much. Like we can, mm. we got, we can get a couple of dudes on AI and, and churn out episodes that are as good as the garbage we're seeing on <laughs> streaming services right now. How do you feel if I were to say this is the same thing between uh, the person at the checkout line and me going through self checkout? Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, say that again. Okay, rephrase. I have to say is that the way that things are done now with the art, I feel like it's the similar to have going up to a grocery store clerk versus going through checkout. Everything is being automated to a certain extent. Yeah, it's like the car industry where people used to put the cars together. People lifted up metal versus machines do majority of the work and you're just monitoring. Mm-hmm. It sucks that it's happening to art, but like I said, there are some quality pieces that have been created. You cannot deny that it, it may be visually beautiful. It may be alluring. Like I can't do it because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But there's people out there who are competent with it. I'm not necessarily saying is that we need to end the job, cut people's jobs, because that's what they were fighting for. Yeah. They're fighting to keep their jobs. But 
we got to put some respect on some of their names. It's well, and, that, and that's the thing. Like any of these autom- automations you're talking about, like mm-hmm. it's 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 becoming the it, it's the new or yeah, it, it's basically just getting rid of jobs, right? And yeah. it's, it's at some point, it's like how far do we go until nobody's really working anymore? And then that's and, when universal basic income starts. Yeah, and it's just like okay, we all just let AI do everything for us, but mm. in, and it's like what it, like what happens when humanity loses a purpose? Like what? Like, do we find a new purpose that's some higher purpose based on society today? Mm. I'd say probably not. I think it goes. I think it goes downhill. When efficiency becomes your demise. Efficiency it, becomes your demise. I like that. And then yep. the other thing I thought yep. of the other day is that we, the human humans, are so Ooh. capable of understanding satisfaction is that we we will never be satisfied because we always know that we could be more satisfied, like always. And that's what I think is wrong with like dating. It's like you all dating sites. Yep. It's like no matter what, you know, there's going to be somebody out there who's more attractive that's interested in you or more interesting that's attractive. It's like it's like that. But what if I settle for this? What am I missing out on? Yeah, mm. it's 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 just become FOMO and everything, right? And everything. Yeah, FOMO. Whoa. Everything. It's it's just wild. So, anyways. That what did I say Yo, about efficiency? Could, that was a good a, quote. Efficiency becomes your demise. Oh yeah, we yeah we could do a whole other podcast on that. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> go to thegreatestown.com for Jonas TNT and Mister X. Uh, we out. You're damn.